You guys are going to be blown away by the stuff that we cover today. If you're just listening to me, take a quick peek at the actual screen because there's an ungodly amount of articles covering a bunch of very, very interesting stuff that I want to share with you. If you thought that the RTX 4090 was very powerful, Nvidia has a 1000 watt power supply or one. Yeah, definitely 1000 power supply GPU in the works baby if you thought that the 4090 was a power hungry warm toasty fella wait until we got we get our hands on this thing so if you thought nvidia's 700 watt h100s were hot and power hungry machines wait until the gpu slingers b100 arrives later this year according to dell technologies coo jeff clark nvidia's latest ai accelerator is going to consume 1000 watts 42 percent more than the predecessor but do not worry, he's pretty sure that liquid cooling won't be required in order to tame this beast. So I just think that that's crazy, bro. 1000 watts. So we're going to need like, we're going to need like 2000 watt power supplies in order to like use this thing. That is outrageous, bro. That's crazy. Forgot to say to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. So this right here, I just thought that this was pretty funny and interesting. I'm definitely not going to be paying to read this article, but NVIDIA board members cash in stock in the $2 trillion AI company following the blockbuster 27% run up in price. It's pretty crazy, right? An actual NVIDIA employee just sold or hold up cash in. They cashed in, not sold. They cashed in two trillion bucks because we bought stock. Now it's all the way back down. Feels great, right? Don't you love when companies do that in the stock market? I am so happy that I cashed out too. <laughs> so AMD Ryzen 9 7900X 3D drops to an all low price of $389 this was actually on sale a few i want to say maybe like a week ago maybe two weeks uh this was actually on sale for like for this right here 400 bucks on amazon but now it apparently is 390 bucks and i'm pretty sure that we uh do not have links okay no three so here's the amazon link i'll go ahead and toss the link in the description for you guys real quick let's see if my video's on it real quick what oh there it is let's go boys <laughs> um it really is it's super cool to make videos for comp it's super super cool but anyways google employee charged with skilling ai trade secrets can you imagine i just want you to like imagine this imagine being offered a once in a lifetime opportunity to work with google and develop google's ai probably the biggest number one monopoly on our planet even more so than apple even more so than amazon even more so than nvidia and soon to be even more so than playstation yes my friends xbox Xbox is not going to be making another console, which is actually a pretty smart move. For those of you that are unaware of this, they're going to be bringing basically Game Pass to PlayStation. They're going to be bringing Game Pass to Nintendo. They're going to be bringing it's already on PC and probably future Atari and future Sega consoles at some point. That would be pretty sweet. Would in fact support a new Sega console. However, imagine just doing that. Imagine just being like, oh yeah, I'm going to steal your AI like an idiot. Like the most wealthy company on our planet clearly not going to come after you like oh or well, i'm just going to steal google's ai and get away with it so the next article is intel i9 14900ks reportedly launches on march 14th 2024 and that's really all i need to say about this is going to be like 600 bucks it's going to run at 6.2 gigahertz and here's the specs disable my camera if any of you want to see the actual specs of this cpu i'm actually curious to when we're actually going to be getting a integrated graphics cpu with like the arc graphics I'm, I'm curious to what that's going to perform like i don't know like when that is going to happen but it is going to be pretty cool anyways next up apple escalates epic games feud big word right there that i don't even know i'm probably gonna have to copy and paste this into google because i don't understand it Future Real, what don't even tell me hold up Ready? Boom. Let's see what it means. Really, I got to type in definition. View definition. A prolonged and bitter quarrel. Nice. Epic. Could have just said that, but I guess we got to it's, see. It's it's Fox Business News. So so we got to feud. We got to make ourselves 
sound important. So anyways, Apple said on Wednesday, the court rulings have made it clear that it has sole discretion to terminate any Epic Games developer account in light of its egregious, again, let's go ahead and really quickly copy, paste. Oh, they did it for outstanding, bad, shocking. Okay, nice. Could have just said that, but again, again, I'm not, I'm not the like biggest word knower on the planet. So, Apple Inc. Ready? Now's your time to buy, boys. So, Dell just barely gave NVIDIA and AMD investors something to cheer, and then Amazon, Microsoft, and Google investors something to perhaps fear. So if we take a look at Dell, here's your stock market. Off to the moon. And then we come down here. Off to the moon. And then we come down here. And then we come down here. Nope, no more. So anyways, what is this about? Dell's COO seemed to undermine a key thesis about the growth prospects for the major cloud services providers. So my friends, if you're like into day trading in the stock market right now, specifically is undoubtedly undeniably the best time to be trading. And the reason that this is the best time to be trading day trading specifically, you could probably get away with swing trading as well. Maybe actually probably not right now because it's so unstable. Um, the, anyways, the day trading, if you can actually, if you're good at reading the, uh, whatever i don't know what it's called the chart I'm just, i don't remember what it, exactly it's called but the chart there so if you're good at like reading those and you're like not stressed out about dumping 20 grand into a stock which man i i'm super jealous if you don't have that because i know i am pretty bad at like taking 15 grand and just praying and hoping that i did something right that's why i don't day trade <laughs> because of how volatile it is man it's a it's a good opportunity just to, to, to blah, 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 today trade right now so nvidia's cfo just barely said this about the competition nvidia believes that they are many steps ahead of their comp competitors in today's video all right so anyways the reason that nvidia is so far ahead of all the other companies right now is mostly due to the fact amd is not going to be releasing a high-end gpu for the next generation of graphics cards and Based off of what I have seen regarding the RTX 5090, I'm guessing the RTX 5080 is going to be pretty close and on par with that. But dude, a 70% jump in performance from a 4090, that is absurd. That is outrageous, dude. And there's no, and I know a lot of people are being sarcastic and joking about this, but there's no way that they're going to be releasing that graphics card and charge like three grand for it. Okay. So the MSRP of the RTX 5090, I'm going to take a wild guess that the MSRP is going to be like two grand. And then in actual real life, you and me buying the graphics card is probably going to be like 2,500 bucks, right? Or up to three grand, depending on how they actually end up releasing this. And if they actually put a hold to the bots that are able to purchase a million of them at a single moment so that none of us can actually get it, uh, then I just, I can't see it being over three grand. And yes, $3,000 for a graphics card very expensive fully aware of that fully understand that dude but it's like there's only so long that we can complain about prices at least for me like it's been four years i kind of accepted prices aren't going down like two years ago nothing has gone down zero things have gone down everything is up homes are up food is up gadgets are up pc parts are up not just graphics cards dude it's everything the only thing that has not gone up is your wage. Hence, the nine to five is coming to an end. And a lot of people are gonna be start, most of us, at least me, I like learning about entrepreneurship. I run a business, okay? Most of us have kind of like realized, one, cash is king. Putting your money in the stock market is pretty stupid unless you're day trading and actually good at it and know how to win <laughs> I, i'm not gonna get into the money topic let's get back to the article because i'll get way off topic 
and get into conspiracy stuff. So anyways, Ghost of Tsushima is going to be coming to PC. Uh, th there's a bunch of stuff. Obviously, it's the same thing. It's going to have upscaling. It's going to support ultra wide monitors. going to have all the PC features that we're all fully aware of and come to love. So let me know if you guys are going to be grabbing this, playing it. I personally am going to be grabbing it, playing it. Sold my PS5, gave away the second PS5 for hitting 50,000 subscribers like an idiot, which was really dumb of me because... So for those of you that have a YouTube channel, I'm going to go ahead and say this right now. Giveaways, dumbest thing that you can do. Just saying. So what happens when you get giveaways is you get tons of followers that will never watch another video. And what happens when that happens is your, your, your impressions and click-through rate are going to go from like a good click-through rate plummet because nobody is ever going to watch your video unless it is another giveaway unfortunately catch you guys in the next one peace